100% of your attention needs to be focused on, on that radio and your communication with dispatch, the other lookouts, firefighters on the ground because the time went by quickly and well, you, felt, you feel like you know, you're there for a reason. I thought that it'd be an, an impossible job to do because I had visited towers and, and wondered how someone could stay up there for so many days all by themselves. And I, I didn't think as a young firefighter I could ever handle that. And, and I, had, I did, I did do that and, and I enjoyed that. They have some you know, big windows on all four sides. You're anywhere from 30 feet to 60 feet, 90 feet. I've seen some pretty tall towers in the air off the ground, so you have the, the best view in the forest. You're able to see for miles. It's a view that you never get tired of. When you're at a tower, you, you report the weather, you're touching base with, with your uh, other lookout sometimes. You start scanning for any fires that, that are still going on and, and you, you take notes on that. So you do document everything that, that is going on at the tower and, and, and in your area. You do maintenance on equipment, you make sure things are working. You settle in and, 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 you, and you start scanning and glassing and, and making sure there aren't any, any uh, fires we call sleepers popping up that, that you didn't see in the previous days that you were there. You have to take the good with the bad and um, always be ready to, um, for, for it to, things to blow up is what we call it. You might have your times at, it's, there's no activity at all, but be careful because there's times that I, I turn around in, in the tower, I was looking one direction, I turn around it, and uh, yikes, there's, there's, there's a fire. It, it had to have popped up like 30 seconds ago and I didn't even notice it. It's just a, an amazing place. Um, you could not see people for days. There's just a lot to see and, and appreciate. Flora and fauna of the Gila is, is hard to beat. I think you, you have to be very flexible in that job. It was a lot of fun. We, we did have fun. We actually spent a lot of time studying maps and studying areas because it's such, such a huge area. I would say the hardest part for me was toward the end of, um, of these long stretches. You can get a little antsy, but I, I never really felt like I was bored, more like I was just ready to, to end, end that stretch and, and, and take a break. I wanted to come home. Sure, I'd look around and at the end of the season and say goodbye because it becomes part of you. When I had those stretches of, of time by myself, you think about the things that are important to you, like your family and, and friends and, and, and just who you are. I think you learn to appreciate yourself more. You, you learn more about yourself and, and your family and friends, they do matter and they're the most important thing even your coworkers, you realize who you really care about and, and what's important.